This is the Star Wars The Force Awakens 3.75 inch Kylo Ren in the unmasked version, a figure that a lot of collectors have been looking forward to getting. He's part of the first wave of figures for 2016 from the Star Wars The Force Awakens Jungle and Space. Um, 3.75 inch figures. And here's the rest of this one. We got Nee Numb. Uh, First Order Stormtrooper Squad Leader, the one that has the belt, the black uh, accessories on the belt. So pretty cool. I like the artwork that they gave on that they gave him. So here is the figure with uh, Ray in Jakku outfit. You could he has that force, dark side of the force hand that you can get out of my mind. Tell me. Uh, it's pretty cool. What I'm really stoked about this figure is, apart from, <laughs> he does look like Severus Snape. I mean, some some of on the, on the forums, uh, he, some have said he does look like Severus Snape. Yeah, kind of does. But we do get a brand spanking new mold. Uh, he's got a, like a forward stance uh, molded onto his legs. He's got that forced hand. Uh, very similar right arm grip for the lightsaber and a new head sculpt obviously he also comes with a hood no mask would have been nice if you know there was a mask that actually went on uh, he's got that red riding hood <laughs> uh, yeah it's okay I suppose yeah I just you know I wish the hood was soft good so you could move it that way you could make him look like that or they'd given him something like just the scarf or something um sorry okay i'll put ray there uh in case you missed the first version as you can see he's a little bit bigger there's more detail on his tunic uh on his waist cape as you can see you get to see more of his pants more of his boots you get to see some of his boots right there as well but there's better detail on this one he kind of looks bigger for some reason the belt even the belt looks kind of bigger no it's the same but he does kind of look bigger because of that stance that they put him into so very very nice i'm actually quite pleased with this one uh, again you get the five points of articulation ball jointed neck uh, swivel shoulders and swivel hips but you get a ton of detail on him you get that severus snape vibe going on and I like the fact that it's a new mold. Uh, great detail, great paint apps. I think I'm going to have to give this figure a 10 out of 10 because it turned out much better than I anticipated. So, yeah, comes with this lightsaber. Uh, it's the same one. Yeah, they didn't change it. Just made the blade redder, I think, more red. This is a little bit pinkish. It also comes with this thing. Uh, it's like the Death's uh, Scythe like uh like he's dressed up as death so <laughs> i think it, it's only appropriate he has the scythe uh it, it, it's vaguely familiar because it kind of looks like the one that rex had and yeah with this non spring-loaded missile and you get to form if you buy me numb and that squad leader you get to form something like i don't know what that is it's like a droid whatever droid weapon Anyway. so there you go folks uh it's a great figure i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 simply because i thought it looked great it looked better than i anticipated and than i expected uh and, and he, he looked good on a star killer diorama with uh, your ray figure very very nice the unmasked 3.75 inch kylo ren from the star wars force awakens storyline thanks for watching